The last topic for this section is distance. Uh, now, really, what we're talking about here is simply arc length, right? And so the idea is that you have an object which travels over some path. So let's say the, you know, the path is there. Okay, so there's my path. And I want to know how far the object traveled as it moved along this path. Well, that's the same as asking for the length of the path, right? The length of the curve, hence arc length, okay? Uh, but the idea here is if you, if you think about kind of nearby points, right? Um, so here's a spot given by, say, R of uh, some initial point T naught, and here's a nearby point T naught plus, say, delta T, right? Well, we can also calculate the tangent vector at that point. Now, the, the tangent vector might be, might be longer. Maybe the tangent vector is like here. So here's r prime at, uh, at t naught, right? Um, but if you think about, you know, what is, what is r prime of t naught, right? r prime of t naught, it's the limit as delta t goes to 0 of r of t naught plus delta t minus r of t naught over, over delta t, right? And so if you, if you drop the limit, this equality becomes an approximation. You can move the delta t to the other side. And then that displacement, right, which is just the, the vector from here to there, is, is approximately the same as the vector, which would kind of like right here, right? So this is going to be r prime at t naught times delta t, right? So the displacement is just the difference, right? The numerator here, that's the displacement. The distance traveled, again, um, if, if delta t is small enough, well, there's not a lot of room for the curve to bend over a sufficiently small interval, and so you, you have a piece which is approximately straight, right? Uh, you can kind of see here the, the length of this segment of the curve it's going to be pretty close to the magnitude of that vector, right? So the, the distance traveled will be the magnitude of r prime times delta t, okay? And so then you can, you know, add them all up. So you sum those, take the limit, the usual story, and you end up with an integral. Uh, the distance traveled will be the integral from sort of the starting value to the ending value of the magnitude of r prime times dt. Okay. That's it. And, and this is, if you like, this is an arc length formula rewritten in terms of vector value. It's the same arc length formula that you saw for parametric curves. Right? But I think this is maybe more convenient notation. I like the vector notation here. It simplifies things for us a little bit. Right? Um, so that's the, um, that's the formula for arc length. Um, we'll pause momentarily and then we'll put it to use in this example right here.